There are people out there who are blogging and vlogging and tweeting and Instagramming and YouTubing and Facebooking and Facebook groups, and they have large groups. Some people have groups of 800 people, I mean 8,000, some 12, 20,000 people. I'm not making any money. Today I was having this great conversation with somebody and it was a little weird because they were, I, I'm, gonna, I'm doing my LLC and I've got my business cards and I'm looking at space and I asked them this question, have you made any money with your business? And she was like, no, not yet, but I'm going to make millions. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make your first $10,000 and the value of making your first $10,000. Vanessa, we need to have a talk. You got that business, right? You're trying to make some money, right? You got a name, you've incorporated, you even have your business account, but you haven't made your first damn dollar. That's a problem. That's a big ass, hairy ass, incredibly large ball problem. Okay, Vanessa, let me walk you through it. First thing that you need to do every day that you wake up and start your business is to make some money. I don't care if it's a dollar. Okay, Vanessa, every day that you wake up, you've got one job and your job is to make money that day, not to make money Tuesday, not to make money Wednesday, not to make money next month or next week. Your job is to make money that day. What many entrepreneurs do, Vanessa, many people here, is they become all romantic about getting knowledge and theory and putting together this stuff and not really making any money. There are big corporations with valuations of 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 50 million, half a million, half a billion. <clears throat> they don't make any money. It's all about potential. Don't be like that. Don't be that guy. All right. So every day you get up, you ask yourself this question. And I know everyone's going to say, am I bringing value to the customer? Okay. If you can bring value until the cows come home, and if you don't have a workable business model, you're not going to make any money, Vanessa. There are people out there who are blogging and vlogging and tweeting and Instagramming and YouTubing and Facebooking and Facebook groups and they have large groups. Some people have groups of 800 people, I mean 8,000, some 12, 20,000 people. They're not making any money, but they're giving value. Okay, there is a difference between giving value in a working business model and just giving value to give value because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Everybody needs a coach. Would you agree with me? Yes or no? Colin Kaepernick, when John Harbaugh was the coach, he was the shit, right? Would you agree that Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning, Hall of Famer, winner of Super Bowls, you would agree he's the shit as a quarterback, right? You would agree that Kobe Bryant was amazing. You would agree that Michael Jordan was amazing, right? Uh, you would agree that some of the best pitchers in baseball are great. Uh, you would agree Usain Bolt is insanely fast. You would agree Carl Lewis was amazing. Flojo was amazing, right? You would agree that Mark Cuban is great. You would agree that Bill Gates is great, right? Every last one of these people that I mentioned had a coach. Every last one. And there are many of you who are, quote, I'm going to figure it out. And that's why 90 something percent of all businesses, not online businesses, and online businesses is roughly like 99 percent. But 90 something percent of all businesses fail in the first two years because people are, quote, trying to figure it out. My first five businesses failed because I was, quote, trying to figure it out. Now, once I got some education, oh, life was different. So first job is make money every day. Second job is to study your craft. Now, when I say 
You need a coach. One of your coaches can be a book. One of the best coaches I ever had was Earl Nightingale in his course, Lead the Field. Then there was Brian Tracy, Tommy Hawkins. Uh, I see him, Tony Robbins, um, Jack Welch for GE, uh, Deming, Drucker. I never met any of these people, but they were my mentors and coaches because I read their work. I consumed their work. I inhaled their work. So your first job every day is to make some money. Your second job is to educate yourself about business. LLCs, finance plans, retirement plans, because this impacts you. So you need to know about it. So your second job is after you get up and you make some money and then you've educated yourself because this education thing should be lifelong. It shouldn't be just like I go to this 38 course. And I'm good. No, think of it. I'm going to be learning for the next 30 years and you'll be in the ballpark. The third thing is you've got to find your customer, not his customer, Vanessa, not my customer or this person, your customer, Vanessa. And this is why. Now, when I do Hustlers Kung Fu dot com and I use profanity and I say all this crazy stuff and I was like, you're a scary little bitch. That's my brand. That is the lingo of my brand. And it intentionally alienates people I don't want here because everybody's not your customer, Vanessa. Most people are not your customer, Vanessa. So what I'm saying is if you drill it down and figure out who your customer is and then serve your customer to the best of your ability, it's not a matter if you're going to make money. It's a matter of when. So number one, make money every day. Now, how do you make money every day? Because number one has subparts. First of all, you got to work on the money acquisition parts of your business. All right. What I'm doing right now is a money acquisition part of my business. It is called lead generation by putting this video out. You will see this video, Vanessa, and someone else will see this video and someone else will see it next year and someone will see it the year after and someone will see it the year after. And that what gets me is leads. And as people go through this funnel, if they stay long enough, because intentionally I try to get rid of certain people, then ultimately they'll see the value because the value is targeted to people who are my customer. I don't care what anyone else is doing online. I've made a decision that unless it just makes insane sense, I'm not affiliating with anyone online. I'm going to do my own thing because I feel I know my customer. My customer is male. 25 to 45 years of age, is tired of being fucked over by the system and is looking for some economic independence from a job. That is my customer. Now, out of my customer base, there is subsets, but that's the main base right there. Now, you got to know who your customer is. You got to know who you're talking to, because once you know who your customer is, you can use language that your customer appreciates. There are women here and there's some women that my message resonates with most. Nah, <laughs> no, which is cool because you can't have everybody as your customer. So you got to make money every day by focusing on money making things such as let's say you are you make gold bracelets. You're an, you're an artist and you make these wonderful gold bracelets. Is making these wonderful gold bracelets a money acquisition activity, Vanessa? Is it? Nope, it's not. You ain't even close. Your money-making activities are marketing. Marketing, branding, sales. Marketing, branding, sales. Marketing, branding, sales. MBS, marketing, branding, sales. Those three things are your money acquisition activities. Why are there your money acquisition activities when you're making these wonderful gold bracelets? Because if you know how to market, you know how to brand, and you know how to sell, you can make some damn money without a product. So no, not making your product is not a money making acquisition deal. Nope. And then many people go wrong there. Uh, I get a lot of flack because, you know, you market too much. You have too many messages. You have too many commercials. I personally don't think I have enough. Because 
I get just a little bit of, you're marketing too much. I need some hate. I need, you know, like, man, if you send me one more fucking email, I want that because when I get that, that means I'm marketing enough. Right now, I need to step my game up. Because when I have people who are cussing me out on one side, I have people on the other side who love my ass. And I can tell you, if you have a good product, you have a good margin, you have a great business plan, you can make a million dollars and not have a thousand customers. You can make a million dollars on less than a thousand customers. Sounds a little different from all this other stuff you're hearing online. Go re go wide. Everybody's your customer. No, 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 no. They're not. Now, this is the importance of your first $10,000. Once you make your first $10,000, two things happen. Two. One, your confidence goes up. Two, you have some money. So what you should do with this video is focus on your marketing, your sales, and your branding and get to your first 10 G's as fast as possible. Above anything else, this is your job every day. This is what you need to do right now, today, this weekend. You need to get rid of all the stuff because I'm going to give you a little secret that a lot of people won't tell you, but I will because I spent the money. Social media without context is bullshit. You don't believe me? I can prove it to you right now and you're going to agree with me. Let's say you go to the grocery store, right? Let's say you go to the mall. Let's say you go to a football game, right? So you're walking into that football game and look at that football game or the, or the, mall, or the mall or the grocery store as the tip of a funnel, as the, the lip of a funnel. So you're walking in, right? As you walk in, you see people and they see you, right? So the exposure is there. Massive exposure is there, right? Okay. So I want you to think of the last football game, last time you went to the mall, last time you went to the grocery store. And I want you to think, how many people can you remember? Not that many, if any, right? You had a lot of exposure, Everyone saw you. You saw everyone. Now, let's reverse this. Let's say you paint yourself purple and write love me on your chest. From head to toe, paint yourself purple. Walk in just some shorts, maybe some white shoes, white shorts, white shoes. But all of you is purple with love me on it. And you go to the football game and you go to the mall and you go to the grocery store dressed like that. You're going to get a bunch of stares. You might even be on the news. Why? Because you branded yourself and you provided a context, something that people can go, well, that's really different from the norm. I don't see someone painted purple with love me on every day. Some people think you're crazy. Some people be like, damn, he inspires me or she inspires me because they're different. I like people who are doing their own thing. That's the context. So if you're tweeting, and you have no context, and if you're Instagramming, you have no context, and you're doing YouTube, you have no context, and you're Facebooking with context, I don't care how much money you spend, I don't care how many ads you run, you will go nowhere. And that's what many of you are doing, Vanessa. Like I said, Vanessa, you're not alone. That's what many of you are doing. And you're wondering why you're struggling. You're about to <laughs> tap the fuck out because it's, you know, you're, you're weary and you're tired because you, you've been hearing all this stuff. And the thing is, you're not operating your business on any real business principles. You're operating on what I call ghost Internet principles. If you build it, they will come. If you get enough attention, they'll come. If you get enough followers. Uh, someone sent me a link about these two stars who are really big on Vine. They have three point one has three point three million followers. The other one has one point five and they're making six, maybe seven figures doing Vine. That's real, but it's also temporary. And this is why everyone that's really making it doing YouTube. And when I say making it big, like, you know, million subscribers, they're all under 30 or maybe maybe 32. The lion's share of them. That's a demographically driven market. So if you're trying to play in that market and don't understand that most of the people that drive that market don't look like you, don't talk like you and don't even like you. You're going to fail. And that's what I call following a false narrative. 
It happens, Vanessa. It happens. So what you got to do is concentrate on making money. Now, one of the things with this channel is, is very broad because I deal with structure and process of business. I don't deal with the specifics. So if you need someone to talk to and mentor you, so you're making those gold bracelets, what you need to do is contact every artist that you can find, YouTube, Facebook, preferably someone local, and go say, look, I'll clean your house if you will help me out. See, this is one of the big things. So many people are trying to get something for nothing uh, or a little money. If you go out and invest in someone and you, you approach an artist and say, look, I'll clean your house. A lot of times they won't even, oh, no, 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 I'll help you because they realize you're serious because you'll go to those links. Once again, purple painted person love me. You provide context. All social media without context is bullshit. Understand that. Say that six times real fast to yourself, because if you don't do that and this is I know because I hired an, uh, an assistant and for six months, we just jumped in social media, was tweeting, had moderate context, didn't have a lot of context like I would have today if I were to do that. And it makes a huge, huge difference. So. Whether you, what's your job in the morning, Vanessa? Work on money acquisition activities, marketing, branding, sales. Once again, if you can hammer that stuff down, you don't need a product. You can go find the product, use your marketing, branding, and sales skills and make money. That's why the product isn't important. That's why, well, the customer is important, but how you relate and talk to the customer is more important, which is the marketing, branding, and sales. Do you get me, Vanessa? Do you feel me? So that's how you make your first 10,000. You know, many people is like, well, you know, I want a system. I want to like step one. That's a tactic. That's a, a hack, so to speak. And this is something that I've learned with tactics. They all have an expiration date. So if you can learn how to do it from a core level, from a level of being a technician, from a level of really knowing your shit, then you don't need hacks and tactics. All right, this is Glendon. If you like this video, and you should, like, subscribe, and comment. And be sure to watch the other videos that are in this series how to start a business fast. They'll give you a lot of great advice on how you can build your business and how you can make some damn money, Vanessa.